The nav bars are now high-level objects. We treat the whole bar as a single object. If you look down the bottom, it says one navigation bar. And simply double-clicking on the nav bar brings up a completely new dialog, which is nav bar properties. And you can now go and define all of the buttons. And in fact, if I just go and edit that one, this is normal tree control, so I can just go and click on it and go and edit any of them. And you'll notice that, in fact, it goes and changes the button uh, behind that. But I can also do things like create submenus. So if I just expand it, new item, new item, I just double click. This is a submenu. You can see I've got some other controls here. I want all buttons to be the same width. This is a stylistic thing, but if I just select that, then you get all the buttons being constant width. Some designers say that it's better designed to have everything constant width. Sometimes not. You can adjust the button spacing here so I can make them more widely spaced if I want to, or less widely spaced. Anyway, let's click OK on that. And that's my new nav bar. And in fact, you can see that on every page I go to, that has changed across the whole website now automatically. These icons here are web related. And so we've got a group of four icons. The first two are preview. And this is a dramatic improvement as well. We can now just preview the current page. So if I'm working on one page only and I just want to check what that looks like, I can just click here and we preview just that page rather than having to export the whole website. And there's my submenu that I created on that particular menu. So the submenus are DHTML text submenus that pop down from graphical buttons. So this has got a navigation bar with the simple buttons. Double click it, it brings up the navigation dialog. I'm going to create a sub menu under the first new page icon. So let's just go and uh, create this, call it, call this one, two. If I want a sub sub menu, I can just open the tree here and add a few more items down here. And in fact, let's go down one more level if we want to. Let's make this one down a few levels. So I've got quite a complex navigation structure there. Let's just go check what it looks like in a preview. So you can see that I've got my little preview there. But all default, the colors are gray. So my buttons here have got a mouse over color of orange. But what I would be nice is to have a mouse over color of orange still. So um, that's quite simple. I just double click on the nav bar. I've got a button here called menu style. If I select that, I can characterize every aspect of that DHTML menu. So for example, the background, let's go and change, which is a theme color as well. So let's just go and change it to be orange. The menu text color, let's go and change the over color to be bright orange. You have to preview it. So it's now in keeping its orange menus, same color as my heading. In fact, it's based upon theme color one. Let's go into the theme. So down the bottom here, I've got a whole bunch of color schemes. If I now drag and drop that there, Instead of being orange heading, it's now blue. But if I go and preview that, the submenu is now blue in keeping with my theme.